Hi, I'm Jennifer Duda. Welcome back to Literosity. High school students are also getting ready for a summer of learning, and a big part of that is our book bus. We are scheduled to be at three locations during our high school summer bridge, and students can find a wide variety of book titles. Something that we won't find here are books written by the master, William Shakespeare, because he didn't write books the way you might think. The first folio is the first collected edition of William Shakespeare's plays, collated and published in 1623, seven years after his death. Folio editions were large and expensive books that were seen as prestige items. Shakespeare wrote around 37 plays, 36 of which are contained in the first folio. And although he is regarded as the world's greatest writer, his words were intended for the stage, and then those manuscripts were adapted into books for the masses to enjoy. Shakespeare's words are meant to be expressed in a dramatic fashion, and it is in that inspiration that we go to Pinellas Park High School. When I teach Shakespeare, no matter what grade I'm teaching it in, to do something to get the students up and getting the students involved more than just sitting at their desk and reading, because that's not why Shakespeare wrote his plays to begin with. And he wanted them to be involved. In this particular scene, this is the first year that we've done this. Did my heart love till now for swear at sight, for I near saw true well, beauty. Well, the whole purpose night. of doing this particular scene was because this is the scene where Romeo meets Juliet for the very first time, and they meet across the floor, and then they have words, and Romeo steals a kiss from Juliet for the first time. So it's hoped that the students understand the context of that scene, so when we move to Act Two, which is the famous balcony scene, they understand the romance that is going Shade. on between Romeo and Juliet. Go to, go to. You you are a saucy boy, isn't so? Indeed, this trick may chance to scathe you. I know what you must contray me. This is the first year I've actually done the dance with my students, and I think they did marvelous. They learned it, and they did it, and I think that that meant and helped them to really enjoy the scene a little bit more. Well, because when they when they have to perform it in front of other people they pay more attention to the words that they're actually saying and and then tomorrow we're going to break those words down a little bit more and put them into our vernacular what how we would say it today but it it it, it helps them to really get into the words because they have to memorize some of those lines before they say them and then they have to figure out what those lines really mean and in this scene, there is the feast. The Capulets are having a big feast, which is how we worked in Shakespeare's birthday. And students can be intimidated by Shakespeare. Oh, absolutely. Do you think that this really helped to mitigate some of the fear around that's, that's Shakespeare? Yeah, that's the hope, because I want them to appreciate what he did for Shakespeare and not just a person that just wrote a bunch of words and, and, and 400 years ago, you know, so, and that's why I try to get them involved so that they will pull that appreciation of Shakespeare.